let's talk weather once again. Meteorologist Damon Matson is joining us now with another look at the forecast. Damon, how are things looking? Well, that's another sign of spring coming up it right is. there. Camping. We saw spring training started for baseball. Are you a camper? I like going on occasion. Okay. I've done the uh, the bare minimum sometimes. Yeah. It's a fun. I know you're not a fan. Well, I will go to the campsite and okay. then go to the hotel. Fair enough. Just a little visit in the daytime. That's right. All right. That's all right. right. <laughs> well, we're going to get you some camping weather, Mark. We're going to get a lot of people some nice weather if we can here. Yeah, folks. The sun is still shining and we are working our way towards some warmer temperatures. There it is, Roslyn out there right now. We have that sunny, sunny sky across our rooftop camera right through D.C. over there into northern Virginia and then Hagerstown. More of the same. It's definitely a different view after a few days ago. We had some of that snow on the ground in Hagerstown, but now just a crystal clear blue sky and more and more of that sunshine. Here's a look at those current temperatures again. It took a little bit to climb out of the colder setup we had this morning in the teens and 20s, but we're back in the low to mid 40s. DC sitting at 45. Manassas, Culpeper, and Fredericksburg, 46 degrees. And as always, a few degrees cooler. Hagerstown, Martinsburg sitting there at 40 degrees exactly. But as we progress through the rest of the afternoon here, a couple things working in our favor to continue to warm up those temperatures. Of course, the big one we have have plenty of sunshine still no clouds really in the sky. We'll see that change a little bit as we go late in the day today and then especially tomorrow as high pressure starts to nudge even more to the east of us here and allow those clouds to work back in. But the other thing here too, we're starting to see a little bit of a southeasterly wind with high pressure moving out of the picture. It's not much, but as we hold on to that southerly wind for a few days, we'll see those temperatures go up a few degrees each passing day. So there you go. Sunny skies, slightly warmer conditions here today. We'll see the same tomorrow, but then clouds start to roll in Wednesday night going into the day on Thursday as our next storm system arrives with a few rain showers likely by the afternoon and evening on Thursday, primarily across the mountains to start, but then Thursday night into Friday we'll see the bulk of that rainfall cross through the area. It's not much. We're not expecting any steady rainfall at all here to end the week, but you'll need those umbrellas handy as we head into Friday and then the upcoming weekend. It will be quite a swing behind that rainfall. It will be chilly and breezy to start on Saturday, but then that is very short lived folks. The mild air we're going to build up here through the rest of the week. It quickly returns again by the time we get to Sunday. Now speaking of check it out later this afternoon. This is almost the same as yesterday but we're talking upper 40s, lower 50s. You'll find more of those lower 50s today, primarily across northern Virginia, back toward D.C. and southern Maryland. We didn't quite hit 50 yesterday in Waldorf and D.C., but we have a chance to do so later on this afternoon. Now, clear skies, light winds is going to lead to another drop in those temperatures tonight, mid 30s by the 9 o'clock hour, and then waking up tomorrow morning. More of the same, primarily low 30s along and east of I-95 and some 20s will pop up west of the I-95 corridor, but I'm not expecting those upper teens and low 20s like we had these last couple of mornings. We'll start to see that warm up take place during the overnight hours as well. 10 o'clock on your Wednesday morning. We're already back to 40 degrees and then we continue to try to nudge up these temperatures a few degrees more on your Wednesday. But once again, it looks like upper 40s, low 50s will be back on tap. We don't really get to see the mild, mild air until we roll into the day Thursday and Friday mid to upper 50s there, but go figure. That's when we are going to be dealing with a few scattered showers before that temperature drop as we head into the weekend.